Hey guys, this is Jamie Lowe Tallula, and I am here for a second edition of Retro Vintage Crochet and Knit. So, come along while I'll show you through some vintage crochet and knit books that I found at the thrift store. Yay! I love going to the thrift store, you guys. It's just crazy how much fun it is. Alright, so today what we're going to debut... Actually, it's not debut, same how they're like 80 million years old, right? Um... <laughs> Shaw's Galore, which is Coates and Clark, and The Work Basket, January 1981, and if we have time, we might slip in another one. So let's start with the Shaw's Galore, as you see here, Shaw's Galore, such a cute item already. As you can see, it is Coats and Clark, the book number 243. And let me see if I can find a copyright date for you. Yes, 1975. 1975, babies, 1975. Which is so crazy because that means that this book is two years older than I am. Oh, that's crazy when you think about that. I'm like, oh my gosh. And... <laughs> Originally, it was 50 cents. I paid 25. Okay, so let's look at our first item. Once again, they give you some information on gauge and so forth for your patterns. Information on gauge. So they give you this first pattern, which is adorable. I need to make a shawl this year uh, for work because I get tired of freezing and it is, it'll be cold in the building. So that's a pretty one. And it's blue, so you guys know I have my affinity for blue. Okay, here's some more information. And this is just a small one. Um, gives you some charts for numbering. Here's another one. This is very cute as well. It's so funny when you go back and see some of the old clothes and so forth and you're like what I mean doesn't this look so one day at a time you guys remember that show one day at a time now everybody who's younger than us are gonna be like who's that what show is that <laughs> one day at a time here's another one this is a very cute one as well it's just a simple white one and they have it over an evening gown now I doubt that I would wear anything like that over an evening gown because <laughs> it just doesn't match but Okay, check it out. It's very elegant though. Still very elegant. Then there is this one. Now this one looks like you could be wearing it right now. See, the whole outfit. Let me adjust this light real quick for you. <clears throat> there we go. So this one looks like you could wear this outfit today. No problem. Which is so funny. This is a cute one too. This one is a knitted shawl. So for those of you who like to knit, and I always think of knitting, and I always have to give a shout out to my girl, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah. She needs to be putting out some more videos, Sarah. So there's this block shawl. Very cute. And then once again, over here, they give you like the pattern and tell you how to lay it out. Which, as stated before, it's always good because then you can see, and then they have this one on the back. Because then you can actually see what they mean. Because written directions aren't always clear. And sometimes you just have to wing it and see what they're talking about. Um, the next one. This one is the work basket from January 1981. And work basket is... I like their books because they have a lot of... Um, I need to take these little stickers off, but... Don't want to rip the book. See, I don't want to rip the book. Okay. Work basket. It's awesome. <clears throat> These are a little more delicate because they have different types of pages in them than 
others. The other thing about these too is that if you are into junk journaling uh, or you like vintage papers, vintage papers, you could tear these up for that too. Now I actually would like to make some of the items in here so I don't necessarily want to tear up my books. But you could do that as well. Go to your thrift store, find some. Because it's very interesting when you look at the old ads. <laughs> and okay, so now here we get to an actual crochet project, which they call a popcorn bed spread, which is very interesting. Um, it has some doily pillows here. And with the work basket, it's kind of cool because they give you a variety of crafts. So, like this one is a hook a rug. Hook, I said a hook and rug. A uh, latch hook rug. And then they give you the pattern for it over here. But at the same time, if you don't latch hook, you could take this and make it a crochet pattern. Um, I mean, a cross stitch pattern. If you don't cross stitch, you can do the same thing. Take this pattern because it's on a one by one block grid. You could take this pattern that's supposed to be for a hook rug and turn around and cross stitch this onto a single crochet um, blanket. Okay. Then they have this little doll here. This reminds me of Sharon because she made some, I've seen some where she crocheted dolls, uh, doll clothes. So hi Sharon if you're out there, if you're watching. Here's some placemats. That they've done and then once again it's like look here this is so funny so here you have an ad for a caddy for $19.99 or $19.95 and it's the same kind of caddy that you see that they want like $50 for in Michaels okay they give you a tea cozy here and it's like it's so funny because like some of the stuff you know you would never ever use there's some food always gonna like food but then it's just cool to have it just to see and then check out this relaxation outfit oh yeah baby <laughs> like I said part of the fun of looking at these is just looking at the old products and the old ads like here have these dresses and another thing you could do is if you have one of these okay and obviously you can't sell the images but if you wanted to make a card with something vintage but you don't want to mess up your book just go ahead and photocopy it scan it into your computer and there you go because you're not selling it now obviously if you're going to sell the item then you can't do that so then they give you like a placemat here And some lace trim. Some other crafts. Look, some little walnut people. <laughs> How cute is that? Uh, clowns. You guys, I hate clowns. They're like freaky. Now, we thought the coffee mug and all that kind of stuff, the cozies were new. No, they're not. 1981. Crochet mug cozy. Another doily. And I think I mentioned in my previous video, you can take a doily pattern and say you want to make a blanket. You can take that same doily pattern, make it in a larger thread or a larger yarn, I should say, with a larger hook, and you can have a motif for a blanket or granny squares. So it's very versatile. Yeah, crochet cover for your toilet. I don't, oops, that one's kind of bright, isn't it? It's not showing, there we go. I don't think I'll be making that anytime soon. <laughs> but then look at the little witch. She's all her broom. Kitchen witch. And then these old things here. Oh no, so I hope you're enjoying the series. Let me know how, if you have questions. Here's a reversible baby blanket. If you have questions, comments, if you want to see something in particular, 
Um, if you would like to see me make a particular item, now keep in mind if it's something like a blanket or a doily, it would take forever. But um, yeah, there's some panda bears. <coughs> There's some bunnies. Okay. And then you have the end of the magazine. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will be back with a few more because I have tons of books to show you and it's just awesome. So, <coughs> if you like this video, thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Share with people on Facebook, YouTube, Google+. I would appreciate all of that. And I shall see you guys later. Bye-bye.